see him play a lot in college, but he, uh, he's, a, he's a very good athlete. Um, and I know the Lizards are really high on him. And you get a first look at Paul Rabel. Who's Rabel he? and Pinnell on the same team is pretty wild. Everybody's got a lot of good players, but these are two of the best in the game playing in the same offense. And Rabel's been doing this a long time, 30 years old, and just a lot of experience and a low shot right there, and it's deflected. And behind the net, Rob Pinnell once again will set things up. And now here's Rabel cutting towards the top of the arc and then dumps it off to Ryan Walsh. Walsh trying to get inside for a shot that goes wide. At Harbison was defending him. He had a whole helmet length above him. And then we get a give and go for a score. Uh, shooting on the run off the dodge, but here he makes a cut, and Pinnell quickly finds him with the left hand for a right-handed finish by Rabel. It's a great story. Division three guy came out of Salisbury University. Um, you know, initially was more of a long pole, uh, running in the midfield with a long pole in this league, and has now found its way into a close defense position, and is one of the best defenders in the game. And now the ball is loose in the turf, picked up by Atlanta, and sprinting down the right lays defenders, and then gives it away. And again, Paul Rabel, as they lose the possession and Atlanta gets it back. That was some solid defense He's there. been in the same locker room with the same guys for four years, and all of a sudden he joins a new team that's already played five games together, and he's walking out in the field, doesn't know where he belongs, doesn't know what his role is. Um, I'm sure Coach Tucker said, your role is to dodge and make things happen. Rabel with a laser shot saved by Gittleman. Atlanta comes out in transition very quickly, and here's Ratliff, tries to feed it across to Ikea. can't do it. Here. Plays being barked out. Here's Tommy Palasek. Gives it back up to Rabel, who sprints inside. Goes right past Ratliff and throws it behind the net to his teammate Rob Pinnell. Handful for the short stick. And a pass picked off right there by the Blaze. And Great here comes Scott Ratliff. Yeah. And Ratliff out on the break. Slides it over to Rice for a shot. Score! Between helmet and pipe there on the short side against uh, Drew Adams. And that is, that's a big goal. That somehow... Three feels much different than four uh, for no good reason, uh, but it definitely feels different. Rabel at the top of the arc, matched up against Ratliff as Ratliff tries to use his stick to kind of keep him at his distance. Here. And is held scoreless so far tonight. And here's Rabel. He seems to be the only guy on the they sit and wait. And a ball thrown in the middle intended for Rabel. Never got there and picked up by the Blaze. So. Two poles out on the wings, which I think uh, Coach Bellina was complaining about. Those poles are coming in and, and slashing Grenlian from his opinion. And here's Rabel sprinting around a couple of defenders. Dumps it back. And Pinnell is right there. But and So by putting a short stick on, on, on Josh, you know, they're kind of tempting him to dodge. And that's not really what Atlanta wants for their offense, to have Josh die on. Dodging. Um, get the ball to the backside. Wide open shot for, for Jojo Morasco, but Gittleman is up to the task. And Rabel coming around, gets double check. Ratliff with the check, knocks the ball loose, but it's picked up by the Lizards again. Annoy him and, and just be an irritation with that stick. And great defense there in a the pickoff of the pass. Pat Harvison and now sprinting out in transition. And Ratliff now on the offense. Dumps it in the middle. Here's Cooper and pulling. Um, and start to read him and react um, so it becomes a better part of the offense. And only his second game of the year uh, after, obviously, you know, his college career ended in Duke being part of the, uh, the NCAA tournament. Here is Rabel with a bounce shot that gets right past Gittleman. Here. He doesn't even really need to bring his hands all the way back. That's just a snapshot off his shoulder because he gets down so low. He's in a... Rabel sprinting around defenders, looking in the middle, dumps it off, and Jameson nets it. Lawson, who already has a hat trick tonight, dumps it back. I mean, a Colgate in college, but looking fairly comfortable out the midfield. Saved by Gittleman, and they'll try to get out in transition as a long outlet pass to Ratliff is picked up. Ratliff sprints right in, leaves it up for Rice, and Estatu shoots and scores! <laughs> Lizards cons, and here's Palasek. And Rabel with a shot that is wide. 
of the shot clock in this situation. Absolutely not, especially because Kyle Hartzell doesn't play on offense, who's been the two-point shooter for, for New York thus far. And we'll see if Joe Spolina puts him on the field in this situation wow. as you get close. <laughs> Great effort by Rabel. Didn't see the guy coming Talks out of the behind the cage. As we approach just a minute left, Paul Rabel with the shot that goes wide, but he relents, and it's Dave Lawson. And coming out of the clear obviously makes it a little bit more difficult to shut him off. And Rabel gets sent back behind the arc. A great job by Pennington coming off that pick. Gives it a Lawson at the top. Thought about a long shot and then pulled it back and then sends it out and Gittleman with a long kick save. Look at that. Five seconds left to shoot for the Lizards. Long pass back beyond the art. Here comes Rabel working inside, drops his shoulder, and then sends it back out to Lawson for a long shot that was deflected wide. Defense. And so now it's Rabel over to Lawson for a shot, and he scores, and that's game. And Lawson delivers. And you take a look at the shot just right over Gittleman's shoulders, 